Hey, I'm Video Bob, and in my last video, I did a thorough walkthrough of my 2020 Ram 3500 Laramie Blackout Edition. Showed you some of the cool uh, quirks and features of the truck. But I also teased you about all the Banks power stuff that we did. Now, I'm not affiliated with Banks. I paid for all this stuff out of my own pocket. I didn't get any freebies, but Gail, hey, if you see this video, check this out. <laughs> Okay, let's start with one of the first upgrades I did. It's called the Pedal Monster and their gauge. Now, they don't sell this little gauge cluster holder kit at Banks. I found this off of eBay. Guy makes it, he also gives you a matching cover for the other side, but it basically just sticks right under your vent and holds any kind of little two inch gauge you wanna have. So I've got Banks' uh, uh, gauge that goes with the Pedal Monster. What is the Pedal Monster? If you don't already know, the, the, there's a bit of a lag on these diesel trucks. You know, you hit the gas and the build is slow, right? Pedal Monster gives you full access to the throttle capability where you can floor it and it just adds power. So this is kind of a tune, but it doesn't void the warranty. It doesn't cut into the wire system at all. It plugs into your OBD2 port. You can get a multi-headed plug and the thing plugs in and it's a really simple install. It doesn't take very much time at all and it does turn the truck into a hot rod. It has a stock off mode, and then it has a city mode, a sport mode, and a track mode. You ever done a burnout in a dually? You will if you put this pedal monster in. So I'm not gonna talk about prices on this stuff, but you can go on to Banks Power website and you're gonna order all this stuff. That's what I did. Again, not affiliated, paid cash for all this stuff. Put in the pedal monster, this super cool gauge, and uh, it's in there. You have to pair it to your phone or you can control it with this uh, little screen and module. Now, we could talk a little bit more about this thing because uh, it's, it's pretty complicated and I still haven't completely learned how to use it. All right, I don't know if you can see this thing very well, but you've got all these different settings on here and I recommend going to the bank's website and finding out more about all the things that this does. You can set the colors and pick which things you want to monitor. But when you go into this little layout, you can pull up the module, and I'm sure you can't read this little tiny little writing, but I can pull up my pedal monster, and then I can uh, go through and, and choose which level I want it to do. Right now I've got it set, you know, on, um, I've already done the calibration, I've got it set at sport mode. But anyway, check out their website and it'll tell you how this thing works. I'm not gonna do a video on it, they've got their own videos on it, I'm just showing you what I put in the truck. Let's show you what else I've done to this rig. All right, I decided to add the bank's rear differential cover. This thing here, I mean, look at this thing. You got a sight glass there that you can keep an eye on your fluids. You got a drain underneath. And it's set up in a way that these heat sinks collect your rear diff fluid and cool it off. When you're doing heavy hauling, like I'm gonna be doing and going up from Dallas to Las Vegas, going through Flagstaff up those big hills, your rear end gets hot, this thing will cool it off. And it looks super cool. Check this out on their website. It'll tell you all the information about it. It was a really simple install. Highly recommend. All right. Looks pretty stock under here. It's not. Take a look. All right, what you're looking at is the Banks Monster Ram. Now, it didn't hurt that this thing was red, but I had to have it because what I had heard, and it's just a rumor, folks, was that the intake uh, uh, the, the plate on top of this has an electric heater in there and there's a little nut in there and that nut can fall off, go into your intake, fall into your number six cylinder, brick your motor, you need a whole new engine. It's only happened a couple times, but it's happened more than I think it should have. This thing opens up the amount of air that is, can be put into the motor and um, you can go onto Bank's website and see all the stuff that they prove that this thing really works. So I had to have this, I went ahead and put it on and I figure if you're gonna put this on, you might as well go big and add all the other stuff. Let me show you all the other stuff. Now, a problem I used to have with my old 98 Cummins Dodge was that the, the, um, the turbo tubes used to pop off all the time. So what Banks has done is made these mandrel built, bent, powder coated uh, turbo pipes and seals and clamps that are matching red. So put those on, um, those get you the maximum amount of air without restriction. You can see that little plate we were talking about where he replaces the plate, puts in his own heater on the top. It's a beautiful setup. Check it out on their website for pricing. 
All right, now you got to get more air in. Doesn't do any good to have, you know, more air coming in if it's restricted, right? Well, by getting their their big Ram air kit, I went with the dry filter because I go through the desert a lot. Um, we ended up putting this system on as well, and uh, so basically, I, I just bought everything they sold. I was like, Let's just do everything to the truck, get all the bank stuff. Now I want to point this out to you. This is not a Banks item. I got. I'll put a link to the uh, to this thing here. There's a recall on the Rams right now about the um, transmission. Okay. So the idea, the, the issue is that your your dipstick will come out. It'll drip. Your 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 torque converter will boil over from over towing, getting too hot, and then it'll spray transmission fluid right down onto the boiling hot turbo there, and then catch your truck on fire. This is a recall, they haven't come up with a solution. These people, and I'll put a link in the description, non-affiliated, okay, I'm just helping these guys out. These guys came up with this locking thing. We went ahead and zip tied it in there just to super duper lock it in there. But what it is, is it's literally just a lock that locks your dipstick into place. Makes sense, right? Dodge, you can't figure this out, Ram, whoever you are, whatever you call yourselves now. So this is some of the super cool bank stuff that we put on the truck. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I, I haven't really got a chance to experience the truck stock. I just know that this thing is a gosh darn hot rod. All right, here it is, the iDash Super Gauge. Now, as I was mentioning before, you can go into the modules of this thing. I can choose uh, all these different things I want it to do, but I'm gonna go to Banks Modules. I can access Pedal Monster, there it is. And then I can change it to whatever I want stock city sport let's put it into track mode just because why not let's just do it all right now you can have this any color you want any configuration you want i like red because i'm you know i like red um now i'm going to choose in my controls here let's go look at my uh boost boost pressure let's go take this thing for a spin not sure i ever mentioned to you that i actually drove all the way down to south texas and i'm now in mexico because whoa I'm going up a hill you know this truck is so quiet and smooth that it just you know it's it's kind of hard i'm going uphill it's part of the problem Oh, gosh darn. Slow down. Slow down. Mexican police will not like that. Do that. Do that boost. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am traveling through time. My flux capacitor just went. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, calm down. The federales are going to be very upset. They're not going to like that at all. All right, I think you get the idea. The Banks Power Ram system, uh, when driving in Mexico, is um, it's a good investment. Ooh, I love that whistle at the end. You, you, you're not gonna be able to hear that, but. Well, I've been driving all day. I'm back in the great state of Texas. Wow, that was a really fun journey down to Monterey. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed this little video about my uh, bunch of Banks Power stuff, the Pedal Monster, the iDash, the Monster Ram, the uh, Boost Tubes, my, uh, my, my little rear end cooler. Speaking of rear end cooler, I'm really enjoying the vented seats in this truck, keeping the Texas tank cool. Ooh, I love it. So, hey, uh, paid for all this stuff cash out of my own pocket. 
this is an unaffiliated, you know, uns what, do you, what am I choosing? Non-sponsored video. Gail Banks does, did not give me anything for free. <laughs> However, when I go back to SEMA this year, because I live in Las Vegas, I will be looking for you, Gail, and I hope you've seen this video. And I uh, hope to take a picture with you, sir, because I'm quite happy with all the cool stuff you put on my truck. This is some good stuff. I like that you do it in red. And uh, keep up the good work. Um, you know, there might be haters out there, don't like his stuff, think it's a joke, yickety yak. I don't care what you say. This truck is a gosh darn hot rod. I can go from zero to 100 in a few seconds. This thing will tow whatever you want it to tow. It's a 2020 Ram Laramie Blackout Edition. It's a bad mother effer. It's the baddest, coolest truck I've ever had. And if you want to see uh, some really detailed stuff about this truck, go back and watch the uh, video that preceded this on my channel. And this isn't a truck channel. I'm not a diesel truck dude. This is not my normal content. But I needed a truck to haul my stuff, and I need to be able to drive and pull, you know, maybe 10 or 20,000 pounds and take it from Dallas to Vegas and back and forth from my two shops, from my uh, my Texas location and then my uh, West Coast location. So anyway, that's what I do. This is what it does. I recommend that if you have any kind of a truck, check out Banks Power Stuff. Uh, you'll be happy with it. That's just my recommendation, personally. Anyway, catch you guys later. I'm back at home. Boy, that was a long drive. That's a long way to go just for some tacos. Mm-hmm.